Hello and welcome to today's devotion for Tuesday the 28th of September. This week and next the readings in our prayer handbook come from the book of Job. I think that there are some beautiful passages in Job, mainly the ones towards the end of the book when God is speaking or some of the passages where God, where Job is describing the wonderful things that God does. Today's passage isn't one of those. Today's reading comes from Job chapter 3 and verses 1 to 15. Yesterday's reading describes or described all the troubles and disasters and tragedies that befell Job. And today's reading gives us Job's response. And as you might imagine, he is deeply distressed. He is in despair, so much so that he wishes that he had never been born. This is a deep cry of lament, a cry from the heart. The worst things that he could possibly have imagined have happened to him. All is dark. He can see no signs of hope, no escape from his suffering. Job's lament continues right through all 26 verses of chapter 3, ending with the words, I have no peace, no quietness, I have no rest, only turmoil. In contrast to this, the reading from the Psalms for today, Psalm 149 and verses 1 to 5, is one of celebration and of rejoicing in the Lord. Let Israel rejoice in their maker. Let the people of Zion be glad in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music to him with tambourine and harp. No doubt the very last thing that Job feels like doing right now. And yet, perhaps there is hope, for the psalmist tells us the Lord takes delight in his people. And that delight includes Job. With two such contrasting readings, I was wondering what today's hymn might be. And it's number 635 in Singing the Faith, a hymn by Robert Critchley, one that I'm not familiar with. But it ties today's two readings together wonderfully. The verses speak of the writers or the singers troubled soul and anxious heart but each verse is followed by a chorus in which the writer or singer is reminded or is told that Jesus cares for us and this prompts a second chorus which is a declaration of praise from the writer or singer. Reminded of Jesus's care for us, troubled souls and anxious hearts are now full of praise. I will praise the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord, the lifter of my head. Praise the rock of my salvation. All my days are in his faithful hands. Those last words, all my days are in his faithful hands. Give us a truth for all of us to hang on to, whether we're feeling on top of the world or whether we're feeling a bit like Job. Jesus cares for us, so let us trust again in the promise of his love. Have a good day. 
and God bless.